Pat Love here from Love Healing Hearts, getting ready for bed. It's past that time. Listen, I want to read a verse, a couple of verses, several, so that you will see what true love looks like. When you have a person who is controlling, when you're in a bottomless pit of a relationship, and there's jealousy and suspicion and, and, and uh, lies and uh, manipulation and humiliation, abuse. Uh, oh, my goodness. Every time you look up, they're checking up on you to see who you talk to, who you are at work with, who you're friends with. And they want to push you away from all your friends and all your family. Anybody who wants to keep you to themselves, control you, make you do this, make you do that. I mean, just have you on pins and needles every few minutes. They've got you explaining all your actions while they don't have to explain a thing. Listen to this. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 13, referred to as the love chapter. I'm going to replace every word that says charity with the word love so you'll really get what it's saying. Verse 4. Charity suffer God ah, messed up, sorry, hang on. Verse four love suffers long and is kind. Love envieth not. Love vaunteth not itself, is not puffed up, doth not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own or her own way, my way or the highway, is not easily provoked. Got anger issues? Hey is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil, not suspicious, <laughs> rejoices not in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth, bears all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. How are you being loved? How does the love that is supposedly being bestowed on you or slam dunked on you. How does that compare to the love that the Bible describes? Think about that. And you may want to rethink the love you think you're getting.